Hey, my name is Jillian and I'm from Oxer Inc., the place where music revolutionaries get to know different marketing tips and tricks that help them boost their online presence. And today we're here to talk about Facebook pixels. What a Facebook pixel is, is a piece of code that you install on your website. It takes literally a couple of minutes to install. It's super easy. Stay tuned for the end of this video because I'm gonna be showing you how to exactly install this Facebook pixel on your website because you definitely need it. So it gives you a piece of code that you install on your website. You can begin to track who is visiting your website and then you can create advertisements to people who have already been visiting your website. Now, why this is super important is this is called retargeting in marketing language. Um, but what you're able to do is now you have a warm lead. If you're now targeting ads to people who are already visiting your website, that means people are already interested in what it is that you have to offer, or at least stumbling across your page um, and care enough to kind of stop by. And so Facebook can keep track of all those people that are kind of stumbling across your page and now you can create an advertisement that then targets those people again. So it is said that people need to see something five to seven times before they even think to purchase it or think to even engage with it. So that means people have to see what it is you have to offer five to seven times before they even want to take action on maybe even listening to the song that you have to offer. And it allows you to put your offer in front of these people again. Now, what's also really important is let's say you're trying to expand your reach and you want to branch out into um, new audiences. What you can do is Facebook will keep track of all the data of people visiting your website and then you can create something called a lookalike audience. So what Facebook does is it takes all the information of the people who are visiting your website and it, you can create a whole nother audience that looks like that audience that's already visiting your website. Meaning it they behave on the internet the same way that um, the people who are visiting your website do, which is really great because let's say you're not really getting that much traction to your website or you're kind of new and starting out, you can create a whole lookalike audience which will have around 1 million to 2 million people and you can kind of niche down your target market. Then you can target your ad to people who look like people who are already visiting your website, behave like people who are already visiting your website and start trying to introduce your product to them. So it's really awesome. And why it's important, so if you're running any sort of advertisements, you absolutely need to have Facebook Pixel on your website and, and really start looking into retargeting because you're missing out on a huge chunk of audience that are warm leads. Trying to convince a cold lead to then give you opt-in and give you their personal email address. So someone giving you their email address is, is a really big deal. That means it's their personal online space that they're saying, it's okay for you to send me information, more information about your business. They trust you enough that you're not gonna spam them, send them stuff that they're not wanting to hear. So making sure that you're kind of getting that conversion, I know it might not seem like a big deal to, for someone to give you their email address, but it is a really big deal on the online space and very difficult to do to kind of make that conversion there. So if you're doing any sort of Facebook advertisement, you absolutely need to have the Facebook pixel installed on your website so that you can begin to create advertisements that are retargeting people who are already visiting your website. You're retargeting people who are already warm leads, who have already heard about your offer, who have already said that they're interested in, it, in what it is that you have to offer. So. I know that people might think too that if you're not doing ads, well, this doesn't apply to me. No, it absolutely applies to you too because you can begin to start collecting this data now. You might not be running Facebook advertisements now, but you're definitely gonna be running them in the future. Definitely take advantage of Facebook ads while you can right now. Um, but if you aren't doing Facebook ads, definitely install this piece of code because one, it takes two seconds to install, and two, you're gonna already start compiling this data of people who are interested in your product and Facebook can already start to track them and you can already build a lookalike audience based off your audience so that by the time you are doing Facebook ads, you don't have to wait on Facebook to kind of collect this data, you already have it here. All right, so I wanna be able to show you exactly how you can install this Facebook pixel on your website because it's super easy and I wanna make sure you have all the tools available to you. Um, so once you are logged into Facebook here, you're gonna click on your ad. Sometimes 
you have an ads manager up here, I don't on this account, that's okay. So once you click these three bars and you click on Facebook pixels, you go to set up pixel, use the second one to copy and paste the code. So right here, it does the number one. It walks you through exactly how you can do this, but this is how you do it. You copy the code to your clipboard and you can install it on your website. I use Shopify, a lot of people use WordPress to do it. And I'm just gonna log in here. And where you wanna go, I'm gonna show you, is to where you can edit your HTML code on your website. So I know this might sound scary, but don't worry, it's super easy. And under your main page here, you can see I already have my Facebook pixel installed, but you want to paste your Facebook pixel code that you've copied in the header. So you see here where it says head, this is the start of the header, and I'll show you where the end of the header is. And the end of the header looks like this, where you have slash head. So as long as your Facebook pixel is somewhere in between here, I normally just do it right under the first part. You would just do control V to paste it down here and you save that. I'm not gonna do it here because I already have it installed properly. And then once you have it say the Facebook pixel saved on your website, you want to actually go back to your main website and and like hit this page. So you're gonna trigger your pixel to start working by actually visiting your website. So once you've installed your Facebook pixel, if you wanna make sure and double check to see that it's installed properly, there's this really great um, like add-on on, on, on Google Chrome um, called Facebook Pixel Helper. So you see that here. It's an extension that you can just add to your Chrome and add extension and you can see it's right here. So now when you're on a website, it will show up, it will turn blue and it's, you see how it says one? That means one Facebook pixel here is active. But once you have it installed here, I just wanna show you and you can see this is how many fires, Facebook fire, pixel fires I've had meaning how many website visits you're getting. You can really track. You can see that when it's all set up, you're gonna have a green icon here. And the best part is you can create audiences. So when you go to these three and you go to assets, you can go to audiences and you can create a lookalike audience. You wanna choose the source. You can see here, all website traffic, 90 days. So that means anyone who's visited my website in the last 90 days, that's all the website traffic. You want United States, but you just want your audience size to be one. And then once you say create new audience, it's not gonna do it because I already have one created. But you can now begin to create these custom audiences that um, mirror the people who are already visiting your website. So I hope that was helpful. I know that was a lot of information. I'm actually doing a free consultation, a strategy session with me. Um, so if that is something that you're interested in doing and kind of want more helpful tips and tricks on what is what needs to be done specifically in your business, I'm offering a free 40 minute session with me. We'll go through and kind of really dive in to what um, business you're doing right now and how you can improve your online social media platforms or your online presence, your website even, to boost the amount of conversions that you have. Can't wait to talk with you and get to dive in to your music revolutionary business. So I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video. Take care.